Please welcome your host, Dion Taylor. Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So last month I created a video that showed you how you could use a prompt plugin to extend Copilot in Dynamics 365 customer service. The scenario was pretty simplistic and you really could only use this one prompt to ask a question. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a prompt plugin so that you can ask all sorts of questions about your Dataverse data. Let's take a look. So let me first tell you how this is going to work and what this actually allows me to do, right? So I've actually created three custom tables. The first one is called movies, which has data in there about movies. You can see here, right? I have the new, the name of the movie, the director of the movie and the release date of the movie. Then I created another table called actors. And what I have in there is here's the created, oops, created on field, which I'm not going to use. I have the actor name. I have the age of the actor, the date since they have been active and their first movie. Now I'm tying both of those tables together in my role table. As you can see, the role really represents the role they played or the character they played, right? So I have a character name, which is again, a text field. I have an actor lookup field. So this is a relationship to the actor table and I have a relationship, a lookup to the movie table. Now to get all of the information here on my screen, I created a view that's allowing me to pull the information right in from that actor table as well. You can see that here in this view, we have active since it's coming from the actor table. We have the age also coming from the actor table and the first movie they played in, which is also coming from the actor table. Then from the movie table, we have the name, the director of the movie and the release date of the movie. So that's the data that I will be using in this demo. So I'm also going to show you how exactly I set up that prompt action in Copilot Studio. But first, let me show you what this looks like, right? Once we start to ask Copilot some questions. So let me just go ahead and start doing that. My first question is going to be, how old is Sandra Bullock? And I am, you're, you're seeing the screen here that the age of the actor is actually coming from the actor table. And this is important. And you'll understand this when I show you how I actually configured that prompt action. There we go. It's now pulling information from my actor table. Now let's ask it some more questions. First of all, this was correct, right? She is actually 56 years old. Now let's see which movies came out between 92 and 95. So now we're kind of comparing dates here, right? So here's the release date of these movies. I'm going to say, let's do the newer ones to the older ones. And then we can kind of take a look and make sure this is actually correct. So it doesn't seem to be very good with dates, right? Because this movie was in 2003 and not between 92 and 95. This one is correct. That one is correct. And that one is correct. So uh, it's one in four is incorrect data, right? It's also important to know. Let's see what else we can ask. Who played in Demolition Man? Now you notice that I'm not saying who is the actor in the movie Demolition Man, right? So this is again, that natural language, understanding the intent of the agent. So let's see if it actually picks that up. And it actually does. Demolition Man, let's go ahead and take a look. We have Demolition Man over here. We have Sylvester Stallone. We have the character name, which is coming from the roles table. We have his age, uh, 77, coming from the actor table when he was since how long he's been act active again from the actor table and his first movie as well, also coming from that actor table. And then the same thing for Sandra Bullock. And it all looks pretty good, pretty accurate here. So what is the name of the first movie Sandra Bullock played? And now again, I'm asking for data from that actor table, right? I'm not even touching the roles table. I'm just asking questions about that actor table. Let's see, it actually gets that as well. And let's ask another question here. Oh, oops, it 
let me just cr try and do that again. I want to know now, let's just stop responding here. I want to know which movies Arnold Schwarzenegger played in. So let's see if we can do like almost like a reverse search, right? Because we're going to the actor and then we're looking to see which movies he played in. Let's see if it can actually bring that back. So if I'm looking here, if I'm now filtering this or yeah, let's just go ahead and, and filter this, right? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Let's go ahead and do that. And the, oh, my information is a little bit incorrect in here. So that's why, but what it's doing here is it's giving me exactly the information that I have in there. I just put it in here a little bit incorrectly because right, this should also be a uh, trench as well. So that's just me doing that. And let's just ask one more question here while, oh, I actually want to get rid of that filter, but let's just, oh, let's just cancel this. And let's just ask who directed Pulp Fiction. So again, I'm going to clear this filter and I'm going to look for Pulp Fiction here so we can see who that director is. And that's Quentin Tarantino. And it found that as well. So this is pretty cool, right? I'm actually pretty impressed with this. So now let's take a look so I can show you how I configured that prompt action inside of Copilot Studio. So here we are in Copilot Studio, and this is the place from where we can create those prompt actions, right? I'm going to navigate here to library, and this is showing me all the connector and the prompt actions that are currently part of this environment. I'm going to click on add an item. And it's now going to ask me which copilot do you want to extend, right? Copilot for N365 for sales. No, we want to extend copilot in Dynamics 365 customer service. So let's go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to ask me, is this going to be a connector action or a prompt action? And obviously we want to create a prompt action. So the next thing I want to do is enter a valid name for my prompts. And I'm going to call this movie buff, right? Because I'm going to give it some instructions as well that says you are a movie buff that answers questions on the following query. And what I want to do now is I want to put in a variable that actually represents the question that the agent is going to ask Copilot. So from here, I'm going to go to input. I'm going to add an input. And again, this is that variable. So I'm going to call it question. And then I'm going to add that variable directly within my prompt. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to give it some additional instructions. So let's go ahead and do that. So your answers should be formatted as a list and you have access to the following data points in your response. And this is where we're pointing it to a Dataverse table. You can see here it says data used. So let's just go ahead and click on that. And then we can click on add data. Now, what I want to do is I want to point this to my role table because again, that has that relationship with the actor table and the movie table. So let's go ahead and do that. You also notice that I can only select one table and I'm not going to put in my filter attribute. So now let me show you how we can give Copilot those data points, right? I'm going to say from my role table, I want the following, I want the following columns. I want character name, and then I also want information related to the actor. And here are my columns from the actor table. So I want to do active since we also want to do again, I'm going to click actor. We want to do the name of the actor. And then again, I'm going to go back to that table. We want to do the age of the actor. And then we also want to grab the first movie they were in. So that was the actor table, right? Connected to the role table. Let's now add also the movie table. Here we go. So we're going to click on movie and now we're going to grab those columns, right? We're going to say director. We're going to do the name of the movie. 
we're going to do the release date of the movie as well. And that's it. Now, obviously, you probably want to test this, right, before you finalize that prompt. So let's put some sample data here below because what that means is it's actually going to use that question and put that here in that variable that I created earlier. So once you've done that, you can click on test prompt and you should very quickly get that prompt response that you see here below. Let's just give it a second. And here we go. We can see the movies that came out on those dates, between 93 and 95. Here we have the Pulp Fiction. The director is Quentin Tarantino, right? So this is coming from that movie table, the name of the movie, and then the release date as well. You already saw most of this earlier, but again, I just wanted to go ahead and show you what those uh, test prompts look like. So now I'm asking questions uh, again about the Sandra Bullock actress coming from the actor table. So once this is done, all you have to do is click here on finalize prompt. You can kind of make sure that everything looks good. And then you can click here to create your prompt action. And that's just going to take a couple of seconds. Shouldn't take too long for that to, uh, to show up. There you go. So once it's saved, you should see it pop up here in this action section really quickly, or if I click here on actions, we should see it below the actions as well. And there we go. Now, the only thing we still have to do is to turn on this plugin inside of Dynamics 365 customer service. So let me show you how you can do that. So here we are in the customer service admin center, and this is where we're going to enable that plugin. So I'm going to click here on productivity. And then you see here the plugins for generative AI. So I'm going to click here on manage and that should show you the list of available plugins. So let's just give it a second while it loads that. And here we can see our movie buff plugin. So from here, all I have to do is click the checkbox click turn on and this is going to allow me to actually give access either to all agents who have copilot or to specific user roles so you can also define who gets access to those plugins i'm going to say next here now this has everything to do with the fact that if a record is opened from a case right you you won't have to give copilot certain types of information now my tables are not related to a case. I was trying to have a little bit of fun here. So I'm not going to populate this data. I'm just going to go ahead and say next. And I'm going to click on turn on plugin. And that is it. That is all you have to do for it now to be available inside of the customer service workspace. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching, until next time.